More than a dozen women who say they have now contracted a, an incurable sexually transmitted disease from a janitor tainting their waddle bottles, bottles at work. Well, they have now filed a lawsuit. Fox 26's Domily Keith is live at the Harris County Civil Courthouse where the suit was filed. Domily. Yeah, 13 Houston women now have herpes simplex virus after investigators say a custodian at their office building was caught on hidden camera doing disturbing things to the water bottles they left on their desks overnight. Detectives say the custodian was intentionally trying to spread to them his incurable sexually transmitted disease. Uh, is not only terrifying for them, but somewhat humiliating. This man, Lucio Diaz, is now charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. According to these court documents, that deadly weapon is his bodily fluids. And his disgusting actions have left many of us with permanent health concerns. These attorneys are reading statements from the 13 women who have now contracted herpes after they say Diaz was tainting the water bottles they left in their offices when he was supposed to be cleaning the building at night when everyone was gone. My baby asked me last time, Mom, you don't love me anymore? That why, that's why you can't kiss me? I was never one to believe monsters existed until I was proven by humans that, that they exist. When water bottles began to smell funny and sometimes had urine in them, one woman left a hidden camera on her desk and detectives say the custodian, Diaz, is on video unzipping his pants and rubbing himself on the interior and mouth of the bottle. According to the attorneys, the building owner waited six days before notifying other tenants in the building, which is full of private physician practices. Even after the building management knew about the video, um, did, they did not contact the police. Our clients did. He was allowed to come back in. He continued to, to conduct himself this way. And there's, who knows, how many people picked up their water bottle during that six days and were affected um, by his actions. Now, according to investigators, when the janitor was allowed to return to work, the woman's hidden camera caught him once again tainting her water bottle. Now, the lawsuit has been filed against everyone from the building owner to the cleaning company that hired the man. Uh, the attorneys say they have no idea how many victims are out there. Reporting live downtown, I'm Domalee Keith, Fox 26 News.